Hi guys, here's another uh, quick update on this uh, power bank and it's uh, charging. Um, I've had this uh, cell on charge for around about the last hour and a half and it's I think it's ready to switch off the charger very soon. The current has dropped from about the full amp down to 0.13 of an amp so that's right on the edge. Um, so let's just work out the base figures and we'll start explaining what we're seeing here. I'm doing these rough calculations and things off the top of my head. I'll fix them up later and we'll make a bit more sense later on. Anyway, so this power bank here has been taking the 3.7 or whatever volts you want to call it up to 5 volts. It's currently delivering 130-ish milliamps. It has delivered 1,338 milliamps. So it's one, one and a half amps has been delivered through the black cable into this battery. It's also powering this little Bluetooth module here, but since these consume only about five milliamps at best, um, <coughs> not uh, really too worried about the leakage through here so we've had let's call it one and a half amps of power pushed into this cell now this cell is one of these cheap basic they're actually not very good cells it's only rated at about 1.3 amps so that's about 200 milliamps of loss or some milliamp hour loss in that uh, charger circuit I don't think that's much of a problem, you know, that's the power basically from the back of this, through this cable, through this charger, um, and the losses here, plus the cell, all together add up to about 1540 at the moment. Um, I think I think we'll call it about 200 milliamp hour loss going through all the extra stuff. Now the cell is currently at uh, 4.17 volts. So it's closing in rapidly on the the charge termination point. The voltage across the battery pack is um, currently measured at 4.04. .04. So we're still in excess of the 4 volts. And uh, you'll see the power bank itself um, is stating 85% available. So, it appears we've used about 15%, which equates to about a single cell, uh, to charge this single cell, which almost makes sense. Obviously, the losses and things involved are making it a little bit uh, lossier, so it's not one cell for one cell. Because this is a lower capacity cell, it's nearly working out that way. So... Some basic figures and things added up again there. Um, we've got eight 1800 milliamp hour cells, giving us about 14 amp hour, I think it works out as. And we've used 15% of it to charge this uh, 1.3 amp hour cell. So, yeah, there's definitely losses involved. We'll calculate them all out properly and uh, more accurately later, but this gives you a guide. <clears throat> so, here's some basic uh, numbers that I was throwing out as I was uh, working on this. So, the initial discharge test uh, is charging a single, I think a slightly lower capacity, I'm going to double check again. 100% to 96%, that's on this battery, was 448 milliamp hours. Now it was drawing uh, 0.95 amps out at that point and then the output voltage was, had dropped to 494. The cell voltage here was 4.12 volts on load. Now the 90% point on the power bank was when 804 milliamps had been drawn, milliamp hours. It was still generating the best part of an amp at 4.97 volts. Um, 
I then checked a couple of bits and pieces while I was there. The switching frequency of this little regulator uh, or the boost converter is about 120 kilohertz. It's about 116, 120. It's in that zone, and um, it stays pretty cold. Uh, I mean, I can feel there's temperature there, but it's barely anything. And this unit, it can only generate the five volt outputs when there's a maximum draw of 170 milliamps. It seems. Again, I'll do more testing on this later on. But for the moment, that's the initial set of numbers that we're working with, and it gives us a good idea on what we're doing. So, uh, I think that'll do for the moment. I mean, the output current has dropped down to just closing on 100 milliamps there. So it's extremely close to terminating the charge. Can't be very far at all now, so let's just measure the, the cell being charged. So it still says 4.17 volts. So it's definitely getting there. There's very little further. I'll pause the video for a second and I'll restart it once we see that the cell has gone uh, uh, into the fully charged state. Okay, so we're back. Um, we were offline there for about five or minutes or so while the battery uh, topped off. Uh, I don't know if you can now see it, but there's a, a green light in there showing that the uh, battery is now charged. That green light down there. So, um, this charging circuit suggests that as far as it's concerned, this battery is now charged. So, we'll measure the voltage on that. So, it's dropped down to, back down to 4.16 volts after it came off the load at uh, 4.2 volts. The power bank is pretty much gone to sleep. It's still... The display's gone off. It's still generating 5.15 volts. So the voltage is still present. Um, so it's still doing some step up there, but there's no output current. Uh, the cell voltage itself has gone down from the quite bad 4.25 down to 4.04. If I tap the light to bring it on now, uh, you'll see that the unit thinks it's still got 85% uh, of its capacity. So that's the initial tests. Um, we'll conclude more later, but that'll do for the moment for the general testing. Thanks very much for watching. If you've got any comments, obviously feel free to uh, make those. Um, and uh, we'll uh, look forward to those. Remember to subscribe. And uh, keep an eye for more videos. I'll be doing more testing on this very soon. I'm running off a, a lot of these uh, videos as I go through. Almost as notes for myself. But also to put up on the YouTube. Because, well, some people like to see these things. Anyway, thanks again. Bye-bye.